on our paper we've said that we would take from 5 to 12, but that is just not what God sent us. Um, so 8 was actually the youngest we've ever had. But there's a point when you literally cry for a child, before you, you weep and you mourn everything they've lost before you even meet the child, once you hear their story. And this is, God gave us multiple chances, so who am I not to give someone else a chance? One of the myths is that people believe children are in foster care because they're bad kids. And I think people get confused that these children are not juvenile delinquents. These are victims. These are traumatized children. They're in care because of something that happened to them and they're having to deal with that. They're in, a, they're in the system because somebody else made bad decisions, not because they made bad decisions. The myths are true. Um, they're going to talk back. They're going to want to do all those silly things, but then I have to close my eyes. Did I not do the same thing as a teenager? And I had two parent home, and I, ha I had a wonderful childhood, and I did some really goofy, dumb things. You know, I wasn't a horrible teenager, but I was a typical teenager, and I just remember thinking back at the mistakes that I made and the bonds that I would get myself in and who is the first people I called when that happened to me always my parents. So if we have 220 kids age out of foster care every year and they don't have those parents to call or sponsors or you know former foster families to call to say I don't know how I've managed to do X, Y, and Z, you know we're just continuing the cycle and all kids deserve a family and it doesn't matter if they're six months old or if they're 18. It's like you almost have your own little community here now and it's all because of, of people we've met through the call and, and I've had an amazing um, outreach from other families that have said, hey, if you want to talk, if you just need help or want resources, just let us know. And so it was such, like I felt the weight come off my shoulders because I was like, I'm not in this alone. It's not just us. Mm -hmm.